Whoa! Guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers. Now, I have a new challenge for you. Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go guys, I'm late for my race, I'll see you in the video! Season 1, Car Dealership Tycoon. Yes guys, there is a brand new update. And it says season one. I gotta see what this is all about, guys. I don't usually start on the very main menu, but this actually caught me off guard right here. Now I want to see what it is. But the Bugatti Mistral is out, guys, and I can't wait to see it. Let's hop in this game. All right, update. Trophy season one. Six new cars. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of new cars. Okay, let's go ahead and get our dealership going here. All right, here we go. The Bugatti Mineral. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is a big issue right here, guys. 20 days and 20 hours. Like, if something's gonna be limited can you make it a little bit shorter than 20 days like maybe just a week okay maybe that's because there's school back in session and i kind of understand that we gotta grind the money but let's see how much it is let's see how much the brand new bugatti mistral is and you guys can see that the uh i think the other race is gone okay no the dune is still here which is actually really cool so, but you guys can see we have a season one. Get trophies from racing to get rewards. And you guys can unlock, which looks like a go-kart, which we need to talk about. That's actually really, really cool. Looks like we got a Mazda right over here. Another F1 uh, formula car, which is cool. The brand new 720S GT3. And last but not least, another Formula 1 car. Yes, guys. The Bugatti Mistral is not part of the season one over here. Let's go check out what this is all about and you guys can see that we still have all the races including the dune race that's actually really really cool all right let's go to the store and you guys can see that we can actually get these event cars right over here can we actually buy these so we can actually buy these right over here for about 99 robux and then the mods that you can buy for uh 88 robux which is actually crazy and then this one right here, you can unlock for 175. And then this one right over here, you can unlock for 440. And last but not least, we got this sick looking F1 Formula car right over here for 880 Robux. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Wait, would you like to buy for 880? Wait, what? Oh no, no, this is it, 799 Robux. I think I was reading the wrong actual thing. This one's 499. Yo, these things are kind of low-key expensive. $299. Hold up. This, these are expensive to unlock. $199. I might not unlock any of these right here. Hold up. Is that a Bugatti Mission right in front of me? And then this one is for 99 Robux. Dude, you know what? Let's go ahead and complete the challenges. And let's go ahead and buy ourselves a Bugatti Mistral. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The interior looks so good too. What? Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the store. Click own. You guys can see the Bugatti Mistral right here is $14 million. Dude, that is like super cheap. Let's go ahead and buy it right now. And let's go to the garage and look at that 257 miles per hour 9.3 handling and it's all-wheel drive and it gives you 73 reward and 3200 per mile let's go ahead and put it on dude this is so sick oh my gosh look at the brake lights this is so cool what this is insane absolutely beautiful look at the way this thing looks kind of reminds me of the LVN so much but check out the interior guys this is probably one of the most insane interiors out of all the bugattis so far what <laughs> i love it okay let's go ahead and speed off whoa yo look at that wing dude this is crazy it's so nice it is so nice and so easy to see from the front as well oh gosh oh gosh but the handling is kind of okay though i feel like it's a little bit heavy but it's something we gotta get used to. All right, let's go ahead and put our tires on this right now. So this is called the Mineral, guys, <laughs> which is actually a really creative name. Let's go ahead and put off-road tires on these, and let's go ahead and make it lower. I, I like the spec on it currently, 
but let's make the uh, rims black and then I think I'm gonna leave it as is for now maybe we could paint it white later on but let's go ahead and get the springs down there we go we're a lot lower now look at this this is so sick I'm, I'm kind of curious and uh, kind of surprised it's only around 14 million dollars I thought it'd be a little bit more I thought it'd be in the 20 range just because this is probably gonna be one of the rarest cars out right now but 14 million doesn't sound too bad at all all right let's test this out in the city race right over here oh my gosh let's go I feel like this is gonna have a great oh my goodness that was a big fail that was a major fail all right it is comeback season baby come on let's go let's go come on here we go it sounds really really subtle like it doesn't sound very aggressive at all maybe this is how the actual car is in real life it kind of sounds like i have a like a toyota engine in here right now <laughs> well i know it's using the same engine as the uh I, I i believe it's using the same engine as the chiron and the bolide which is actually really really crazy which is actually the same engine but they just tuned it differently what is going on dude oh my gosh i can't turn today but you can even tell on the rims guys it kind of gives me the same vibes as the bugatti uh lvn which i'll probably show you guys in just a second here i'm going to show you guys a side comparison of why i think this kind of looks like the lvn but a lot of you guys kind of already see that <laughs> but so far the car is great it's not that bad it's actually really fun to drive and it's only 14 million dollars i don't say only 14 but I would have thought this was probably around in the 20 million dollar range and i'm sure it's going to go up again in value when they put it back on sale but if they do that it's going to be way more expensive than that 14 million let's go come on we're in third place let's catch up baby Woo! oh my gosh that was a big fail i thought i was going to get ahead of them but no that was a major fail right now i feel like i need more uh I need more handling on this this needs better handling guys i mean other than that this car looks great you guys have to buy it just because number one it's a limited vehicle and it's most likely gonna have an og skin later on so that's why i said be sure to grab it and it is the freshest car of the update so far i'm kind of surprised that it's not part of the season one update but honestly i'm kind of glad because i'm literally about to use this to complete the season one update <laughs> it does sound nice though like it, i know it sounds a little bit subtle but it kind of sounds like there's like wind passing over us right now i don't know what it, why like that kind of i mean we are in a roadster but i kind of don't know why it's this car this is like the first car that i've ever heard wind noise on the car like other cars are just exhaust but this one is actual wind noise on it which is really cool let me know in the comments down below if you guys actually hear the wind noise behind this too all right you guys can see this car looks absolutely stunning the rims look so cool the back looks so cool and you guys can see the lvn right over here if i pop up the lvn guys let me go ahead and pop it up uh where is it oh it's at my collection right over here let's go ahead and pop up my lvn right over here and you guys can see very very similar kind of front to it but instead of like the individual lights it is just like four stripes and you guys can see oh these aren't the stock rims on it let me go ahead and stick the the stock rims on my car and you guys can see literally almost the same design for the rims which is actually really really crazy too but i mean that's how they're supposed to make the car uh they're almost like similar you guys can see look almost similar rims to it the lights are a little bit different and the front horseshoe grille kind of reminds me of the lvn and also the bugatti 300 sport plus so this is actually a great car to have guys but thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to smash that thumbs up button i am going to be going live guys also click that post notification bell and uh also guys comment down below if you guys have already gotten the new bugatti mistral thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video and peace out